Hey friends, today we're hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. They recently started selling some really unique desserts here, so I wanted to come out and check them out and show you guys. I know there's a Beauty and the Beast dessert, they even have like a banana chocolate pop tart over in Toy Story Land, and then I figured maybe ride some rides and just enjoy a wonderful Hollywood Studios kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. As soon as we walked in, it looks like Donald and Daisy are up underneath the Hollywood Land sign, greeting guests and getting them ready for their day. Dream homes in a dream land. I love that sign. Today is Monday, March 7th, and it's another beautiful day down here in Orlando, Florida. 85 degrees out, and I'm excited to just go around and explore Hollywood Studios. Check the wait times, try those new stacks, and maybe ride a ride or two. It sounds like it's going to be a great day. The past couple times I've come over to Hollywood Studios, it's been extremely busy with super long wait times, and I feel like that's how it's going to be today. In fact, I feel like Hollywood Studios has been the busiest park for the past couple of weeks, and uh, I'm excited. I maybe want to try to ride some rides today. It is 1.30 in the afternoon, and it looks like all of the individual lightning lanes are sold out. And plus, there's nothing available on Genie Plus, so if we do ride any rides, it's going to be straight standby. So I think we're going to start off by grabbing ourselves a couple of those treats, and then find a ride to ride. And the best place to start is on Sunset. In the beginning, I told you guys there's a Beauty and the Beast dessert that I wanted to try. And I think that's at Catalina Eddie's. And then they also have like an orange creamsicle milkshake. So like those two kind of sound very interesting. So we'll actually grab one of those and then check maybe the wait times for Tower of Terror or Rock and Roller Coaster. I am very excited to try the banana fudge pop tart over at Woody's Lunchbox. That's why I ended up wearing my Woody Roosevelt. I love this shirt. I haven't worn this one in a while. And I think the first thing we're going to get is the Enchanted Rose, the Beauty and the Beast dessert, because that's over here at Catalina Eddie's, and then make our way around. And here it is, the Enchanted Rose, dark chocolate mousse with a taste of black currant and cherry, and then also has a little shortbread cookie at the bottom there. And this is whipped cookies and cream right here, and that's kind of like the gray stuff, and it's delicious. So I'm, I'm excited to try it. I don't want to cut into it, though, because it's so pretty, but we have to do it. It has to be done, so here we go. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I get a nice little piece right here. I don't want to eat all of the gray stuff in one bite though. I put some of the gray stuff back because I didn't want to get it all in one bite because then all the gray stuff is gone. But here we go, first bite. Oh, that's really good. That's really like light. It's very light, it's not rich. I like it a lot. And you taste the cherry in there and the mousse is just very, very light. That's probably the most shocking thing right there. And the shortbread cookie at the end adds like a nice little texture to it. This is a nice little dessert. I think it's $6, $6 for it. Not too shabby. This is definitely one of the better mousse desserts that I've had before. Like I really love the combination between the cherry and the chocolate and the shortbread cookie and also the gray stuff. Well, we're going to call it whipped cookies and cream because it's really not gray stuff, but it tastes kind of just like it. And also it kind of dyes your skin. Watch out for the cherry from the rose. That stuff is really hard to get off, but I approve. I like it. If there was a way that I could be like, hey, can I have some extra of that whipped cookies and cream? I would, because that is delicious. You know, always the good stuff, they give you just a little bit about. Yeah, they give you a little bit amount. They don't give you a whole bunch of the good stuff, but everything all together is good, but mixing it all together, that's where it's at. Also, in case you guys are wondering why I flipped my plate upside down, I just thought it was a little bit better to make it pop out for you. You know what I mean? Because I wanted to like really have the dessert pop out. And if you put it on the plate, like when it's this way, it kind of just looks like it's camouflaged in. So you know what I mean? I'll show you what I'm talking about. See, it doesn't really pop out as much. So I, I flipped it upside down. <laughs> Gonna check to make sure I don't got the red stuff all over my face, but I think I'm good. And right next to Catalina Eddie's, they have uh, Rosie's All-American and they uh, have a special dessert there as well. And it's a s'mores cupcake. So I had to try it. That's gonna be another thing I'm gonna add to the list. And uh, it looks pretty good. 
And here is the s'mores cupcake. This is a fudge filled cupcake with graham cracker buttercream, toasted marshmallows, and a mini chocolate bar, just like a s'mores, a s'mores. And because it's super hot out, it looks like the chocolate is melting. And I also like how they toasted the marshmallows a little bit. So this is gonna be really interesting to try. And there's fudge inside the cupcake. So I'm gonna have to cut it open and just take a look-see at it. I got it off the wrapper and now I'm gonna try to cut right down the center here. Get a look at the uh, inside there, the fudge. Oh boy. Oh wow, that looks good. <laughs> I'm gonna use a spoon this time because I wanna make sure I get equal parts marshmallow, graham cracker, and chocolate in like one bite. You know what I mean? Cause that's a s'mores. And uh, I'm excited. I mean, this actually looks so, so good. Especially with the marshmallow, look at that. So here we go. Wow. That might be the best icing I think I've ever had on a Disney cupcake. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Like normally I'm not a big fan of the icing because it's like so heavy and they add so much to it but with the graham cracker and the buttercream and then the marshmallow this is really good wow this is a sleeper because i wasn't expecting it i wasn't even going to get this one because i didn't think it looked that interesting but now i'm like wow i'm glad i did i'm not too sure if you guys can see the hot fudge just kind of dripping right out of the cupcake bottom there this is seriously a very amazing cupcake. That s'mores cupcake was phenomenal. And usually, I really don't like Disney cupcakes. Uh, if you guys have watched the channel for a while, uh, whenever I get them, I mean, I think they're okay, but I don't go crazy for them. But that one right there was something like just so different. And I don't like chocolate cupcakes. I like vanilla cupcakes too. But the marshmallow icing or the, the, the gra marshmallow graham cracker buttercream icing made it so special. I loved it. It was good. The next snack that's on our list is gonna be here at the Hollywood Scoops. But look at the line here. And this is a that uh, orange creamsicle milkshake and it has like an orange donut on it. But that is a super long line. And I wanted to see about riding the Hollywood Tower Hotel, but uh, that is a 130 minute wait. 130 minute wait, look at the lines all the way down here. The reason that being is because half of the elevator shafts aren't working. So only one elevator shaft is going. So only two elevators are going up when normally they could have four. And that's been like that for a couple weeks now. I don't know when they're gonna fix it, but when they do, it's gonna cut that wait time in half. I think instead we're gonna sneak down to Aerosmith's Rock and Roller Coaster, check the wait time there, and then maybe go in single rider. Might save us a lot of time. And I love single rider option. In fact, Hollywood Studios, I think, has the most attractions that have a single rider option. They have uh, Aerosmith and they have uh, Smuggler's Run. And that's two in one park. I don't think any other park has that. So uh, we'll see what the wait time's like. Maybe we can do it. Looks like Smuggler's Run is 90 minutes. Oh, Rise of the Resistance is temporarily closed. So that actually might make it even super busy. Slinky Dog Dash is 110 minutes. Alien Swirling Saucers is 70 minutes. Holy moly, this is a very busy day. Almost a 100 minute wait for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Do you remember earlier I was talking about the last couple times I came to Hollywood Studios, it was super busy, and I kind of had a feeling it was going to be like this today. Luckily, I like to just come out to the park and just be here because I love the ambience, I love trying the food, but if you're on vacation and you're not purchasing the Lightning Lanes, it's really hard to get anything accomplished at Hollywood Studios. So, like I said, we're going to move along and see what else we can find. Another small detail I really never noticed until right now, but if you look at the Grand Lofts over here by Grand Avenue, some of the windows are actually open. You can actually see the windows open, and I think there's speakers inside this one, and that's how you get all that background music coming out of there. That's really interesting. And also, if you're a fan of Streets of America, the scaffolding that used to be here for Streets of America can now be found in Animal Kingdom in Pandora above the restrooms, and I always thought that's like a cool little detail. I made my way over to Batu, and I noticed Rise of the Resistance actually came back up. Earlier, I was showing you the wait times, and it was down at the moment, and that really has a lot to do with the like 
long wait times. If Rise goes down and then half a Tower of Terror is not working, then that affects the whole entire park. So I ran into some friends and I think we're going to go ride Rise of the Resistance. It just came back up. I'd like to see what the wait time is like because usually whenever a ride reopens back up, the wait time usually isn't too bad. But uh, we're going to check out the whole situation and go on a little ride. I haven't been on Rise of the Resistance in such a long time. Right now, it looks like Rise of the Resistance is a 125 minute wait. So it's actually a lower wait time than Tower of Terror. And a lot of people are flooding back. And it's not a lot of standby queue. It's mostly people waiting to go for their lightning lane return times. And I think that's still kind of crazy. Like, you know, it'd be funny to see Rise of the Resistance have a lower wait time than Tower of Terror. You know, I'm actually kind of very excited to go ride Rise of the Resistance, especially because we just got back from the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, and I haven't been kind of on something like that ever in my life that was kind of compared to Rise of the Resistance. So now I'm going to like appreciate this ride a little bit more. Rise of the Resistance, join us on an exhilarating mission to stop the First Order. This mission includes rapid motion, sudden stops, sharp turns, and a swift drop as you evade capture from the First Order. So, you know, just to let you know, warning. <laughs> It feels so good being out of the sun though, I have to say. Nice and cool in here, the AC is kicking, uh, and we're almost there. Oh, we're getting in, getting in here. Woo! There he is, there's BB-8. Oh! <laughs> It's got a fine looking group of recruits right here. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> I didn't tattletale nothing. How many are we here? Five. Three on blue and two on red and then three. All right. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. Oh my lord! <laughs> Are you guys ready to escape? Yeah, the escape is on. base, those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get us out of here, R5. For your safety, stay seated with seatbelt securely fastened. Oh. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. Did it work? Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. You. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, go to the president. Oh! <laughs> Your cover is blown. Find an alternate route. Who picked these two droids anyway?
not look good. Try to find another way down to the escape hall. Agents, you underestimate their conviction. Raise the shields. Shields? I see no evidence. Now! Found the alarm. All personnel to their stations. Sir, the prisoners have escaped. How brave. But ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run. <laughs> we made it look at that yeah. thanks to our pal r5 here <laughs> that is such a great time i love riding rise of the resistance it's always good it's always thrilling keeps you going it's a good time me and joey we escaped oh, right yeah. yeah he's like yeah <laughs> It was great to get on a ride and also take a little break from the snacks because I do want to try at least maybe the uh, banana pop tart or go all the way back and get the orange creamsicle milkshake. So uh, it was good to actually go on a ride. Maybe we'll try to do another ride. Maybe we'll make our way over to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It was also fun to be able to ride Rise of the Resistance with my friend Joey and Jeff and everybody. And uh, I'll make sure to put a link for all of their channels in the description so you don't have to check it out. Diz Our Dream and Joey's channel is uh, It's Joey's World. And you guys will have to check them out. But uh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun to have a little company. Looks like Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is a 60 minute wait and it, dra it get dropped down so drastically. Look, this queue is completely empty over here. Before, when I was walking by, this was all full over here. It was a 95 minute wait and now it's, now it's way better. I still find it amazing every time I ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I still happen to find uh, hidden Mickeys that I've never seen before. So I'm going to try to point out some of the ones I know and also try to show you guys or try to find some that I've never seen before. Folks, want to take a ride on the train? Excuse me, you there. Who, me? Do you mind helping these good people into the cartoon while I fix this here locomotive? Um, sure, Goofy, I think I could do that. Thanks, <laughs> be back in a jiffy to pick you all up. How do I do that? So, uh, oh, right this way? There you go. Hey. <laughs> Look at it, it's like going through the, the fog, the mist, right? <laughs> Joy, what's our dance move? The, the runaway railway. As we get on, <laughs> the runaway railway. <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm sitting in the back row too. Usually I sit up front, so this is going to be something different. Bye. <laughs> Bye.
step right up. I just realized I was talking about showing all the hidden Mickeys and I didn't show you any. <laughs> now I think we're gonna make our way over to Toy Story Land, but I wanted to point out that they have turning red as a sneak peek in Walt Disney Presents. Growing up is a beast. I can't wait to actually see this movie. I'm very excited. It looks like such a cute like Disney movie. Uh, maybe one day we'll have to come and check out the uh, sneak preview. Oh wait! No, it's coming to uh, streaming on Disney Plus March 11th. We're just gonna wait a couple days and we're gonna be able to watch it. Holy moly! Look at how awesome it is to have Woody back here and then Woody on my shirt. You know, little fanciness. <laughs> Reach for the sky! <laughs> oh boy, it looks super crowded over here in Toy Story Land now. There goes Slinky though. Gonna have to navigate through the crowds here. Toy Story Midway Mania is a 55 minute wait. That's not too bad. I think a lot of people park hopped. Once it hits two o'clock, everybody goes to either Epcot or Magic Kingdom because uh, they have the nighttime shows there. Fan uh, Fantasmic's not back here yet. Hopefully soon though, because that would be really exciting. I think since we're over here in Toy Story Land, we'll stop off here at Woody's Lunchbox so that we can get the uh, banana Pop-Tart. And I just found out it's a peanut butter banana Pop-Tart. So now I'm kind of super excited, but I had to get a water with it too. Because you can't be eating peanut, but, uh, peanut butter banana Pop-Tarts without having something to drink. It definitely make you choke. Whenever I hear peanut butter banana, I just think of Elvis Presley because that's how my mom was a big Elvis Presley fanatic when she was growing up. So uh, I just remember peanut butter and banana sandwiches. So I'm excited, like I said, to try it and I mobile ordered it and it's ready. And here it is. Take a look at this. Sometimes, like I said, I feel like these can be very dry, but I like how they have bananas on top there. Doesn't it look so interesting? Like, I'm excited to cut into it or just break into it to see what it looks like on the center there. Here's the fun. Joey got himself a little cupcake here. Yeah. What do you think? There we go. We're gonna have to break the Pop-Tart in half though. Let's see what it looks like. 
So there you go. We got the fudge in there. Looks pretty good. And we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. Here we go. That's all peanut butter. Holy moly. That actually is really good. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. You can really see a lot of the peanut butter in there and the fudge. But the bananas are just the bananas that are on top there. So not a heavy banana presence, just a lot of peanut butter. And I'm glad I grabbed the water because I can kind of be all choked up already. <laughs> I feel like out of all of the Pop-Tarts that I had in the past, this isn't that bad. Like, I, I really do like it. I like peanut butter and banana, so kind of is right up my alley. The only thing is, is I wish we had more banana. Just a little more banana because there's no banana on top now. It's all just peanut butter and chocolate and then kind of like the uh, crust here. Now it's time I think we're heading in and we're gonna do Toy Story Mania. I'm excited to show some of my favorite little tricks. I'm not gonna be able to film much in here because I'm gonna be trying to get a high score, but I will give you a little glimpse and we'll make sure to film whatever score we do get. Joey's handing out glasses, thank you. I feel like it's been a long time since we went into Andy's bedroom before. This is the other track, and I kind of like this one a little bit better. This is Andy's bed right here, and this is his door to his bedroom. Or actually, this is the door to the closet. Look at that. It's crazy. Everything is gigantic because we're shrunk down into little toys. We're a bunch of little toys here. We're gonna have a little friendly competition to see who's gonna win. Oh, uh, you know, it's going to be close. We got this. Best in car. <laughs> Best in car right here. <laughs> you ready, Joey? <laughs> oh, yeah, you need those. Hey, they match. <laughs> they match your setup. You get up. You're all yeah, yellow. You're, oh, now I you're really a banana. A banana. <laughs> banana man. Tip number one, don't waste your arm strength on the, the practice round. I got you. Bro. Yeah, don't waste your arm strength. Just get, get calibrated and that's it. <laughs> we got momentarily delayed, but we're looking good. We're looking good. Oh, oh we're moving. Moving. Game on. Game on. Game on. Game on. Game on. Let's, see. Let's see. Did we get best hour? Oh boy, it's a good close. Two fifty three, one seventy seven. That's good. Two fifty three. I think I beat Lee. <laughs> Best this hour. Woo! <laughs> I could feel it in the arm there. That best the hour came with the heavy price. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta stretch it out. Gotta get it all back to normal here. <laughs> now I feel like a bushwhacker. Look at the way I like, yeah, <laughs> the bushwhackers. <laughs> yeah, that's how they do it, like this. <laughs> the joke is they're actually talking to each other on the phone right here. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I think as it gets a little bit darker out, we're going to make our way to go see Joey's favorite, the Frozen sing-along celebration. And he loves this one, so I'm pumped to actually go uh, kind of watch it with him. I'm also excited to see the snope. You know, it's a hot day out, some, some snope. And before I said bubbles, because I was thinking of Muppet Vision 3D, they actually put out bubbles. But here, they, uh, they let it uh, snope inside the theater. And please, feel free to sing along at the top of your lungs. Thank you. anymore because everything was about to change and it had nothing to do with love. Anna pushed Elsa too far, causing Elsa to throw her ice all over the ballroom. They called her a witch. witch. They called her a sorcerer. Well, she even impaled someone. She went, <laughs> and he went, Wah! Why? Are you done? Why? Children, did that happen? Did that happen? No, no. I know, but my acting was really good. Oh, thank you. I think I yeah, I feel like everyone's getting all warmed up. 
a kingdom of isolation and it looks like I'm the queen the wind is howling like the swirling storm inside couldn't keep it in heaven knows I've tried <laughs> Be the good girl you always have to be. Don't you don't feel, don't let them know. And well now they know. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Oh. so much fun I love going to the frozen show the comedy is golden and I love singing along and now I think we're gonna make it uh, make our way back down sunset and see if we can catch that uh, orange milkshake you know top it off the night with a little orange milkshake sounds pretty fancy here it is orange and vanilla shake and it actually gets served with an orange donut so it's gonna be a little fanciness oh holy moly look at that that is gigantic, isn't it? It is. Huh? Holy moly. Well, thank you. Yeah, get a little donut on there. <laughs> Look at this. It's gigantic. But here we go. I'm going to try a sip. Oh, it is very good. Like an orange creamsicle, exactly. I can't wait to dunk the donut in there. That's going to be a really good combination. I don't know how I'm going to get this donut out of here. Oh boy, first let's try lifting up the uh, the straw. Oh my lord, look at this. Holy moly. <laughs> so I tried lifting the straw so that I can dunk the donut. And this is the whole donut itself. So you kind of can just pick it up and eat it if you wanted to. But you're going to get a whole bunch of uh, shake on your fingers. I went for it anyway, so excuse me if I end up getting some... Uh, ice cream on my face I apologize but we're gonna try the donut with the ice cream oh wow that is good I grabbed a spoon because I think this is the only way I'm gonna be able to eat this without making a gigantic mess but it's working and I like it a lot well we ended up <laughs> oh boy it started raining very very bad very quick Holy moly! <laughs> There's nowhere to go and I'm just eating my milkshake. <laughs> Look at this guys, it is so bad out right now. It's flooding here. We're gonna have to make a break for it. Use that tray! Ah! Run Joey, run! <laughs> All by myself. Don't wanna be <laughs> by myself. <laughs> so we were all just sitting here enjoying our milkshake and then this monsoon happened and then bada bing bada boom. Now we're kind of stuck here. <laughs> we're gonna brave it. We're going for it. Grab the trays, Joey. There we go. This is the way. Ah! We're braving it! Run! See you later, Jeff. <laughs> oh, watch that river. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, we're making it. We made it. <laughs> okay, so I decided to try to make a break for it because I want to get home to get Gracie because she doesn't like storms and wait till you see what Hollywood Studios looks like right now. It's flooded. It's like seriously flooded. Okay, we're going out to take a look see her guys. I got my hat covering the camera, but look at this. Holy moly. My feet are already soaked, so I'm going for it. 
It is, oh, look at that. I have never seen anything like that. It is at least a foot deep, at least a foot deep. Look at it from this side now, guys. Oh, this is crazy. What a view, though. Stuff is soaked. My camera's soaked. I, I I don't I don't stand a chance. So I think we're just gonna call it a night. But how cool was it to see Hollywood Studios kind of flooded? Unbelievable. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys check out Jeff's channel. This is our dream. And also Joey's channel. It's Joey's World. I'll put both of their channels in the description. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.